Today, I'm talking about the turbulent siphon phenomenon. I believe that most of you know about the siphon phenomenon of water. You may have seen it when your fish tank is full of dirty water and you need to empty it. To do this, you need a long and soft tube. Put one end into the fish tank and the other end into a lower reservoir. As long as you make the water fill in the tube, the water will flow through the tube from the fish tank to the reservoir automatically and continually. Even though the, wash, the water has to pass a higher level before drying out to a lower level. As we know, this phenomenon doesn't only appear in water. It also works for most kinds of solutions, oils, and even mercury. Um, but you must know that if you take off the end of the tube away from the liquid surface for just a little distance, air will come into the tube and the flow suspends immediately. Thus, you have to take care to maintain the tube always below the water surface. Then, we may raise up with such a question. Is it possible to find some kind of liquid that can sustain the flow, even if the underside of the tube is above the liquid surface? In 1966, a professor named James in University of Toronto designed an experiment and answered this question. That's the phenomenon of tubeless si siphon. The magic liquid is nothing but water with a small amount of polymers. Professor James lifted the tube up above the surface of polymer solution. Even if the end of the tube is 20 cm above the, so the solution surface, the flow doesn't suspend. You will see a water pillar without any support. It's so amazing. Here is a video demonstrating the tubeless siphon phenomenon. The researcher uses a plastic syringe to suck the polymer solution. The tubeless siphon occurs immediately when he lifts the syringe up. If he does it faster, the liquid pillar can be longer and never suspend during the process. So, how does this happen? This phenomenon is caused by non-Newtonian which called elastic stresses. Polymer solution is a kind of non-Newtonian fluid which has both the properties of solid and fluid. When the solution flows upward, the polymer molecules inside will be stretched longer. The elastic force from the polymer chains can support the weight of the liquid against the gravitational body force. Therefore, the liquid can flow upward without along, along a tube. Here we can see, the polymer solution is in liquid state. It has some elasticity, which is a typical feature of solid. This is the reason of the magic tubeless siphon phenomenon. That's all. Thanks for watching.